Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update, late Thursday, September 8, 2016. And today in our Tech News Update, we have yesterday had the Apple event that um, basically showed us a few things, but nothing really fantastic. Um, of course, Pokemon Go on Apple Watch, um, Super Mario Run on iOS, and by the way, it's also coming to Android. It's not exclusive. Um, we also had, of course, Apple Watch Series 2, which is an improved Apple Watch with the same body design. And uh, an iPhone 7 that, apart from having dual camera on the 7 Plus and um, basically being waterproof, dustproof, doesn't offer that much more except a little more speed and uh, a apparently better display. And uh, one interesting thing here is that, um, in general, Apple always gave the pre-order numbers for iPhones, and this time around it's not. So I wonder if they're not maybe saying, mm, maybe we're not going to sell as much as we thought. Well, in October, something is happening. Uh, there was talk about this, and you know, some people are saying no, some people are saying yes, but it does seem that Microsoft will actually be um, showing us in October its Surface All-in-One Desktop PC. We knew this was probably in the works and now it seems that they are going to launch it this October, which is a all-in-one desktop, a little bit like HP and Acer already do, uh, where everything is on the, uh, the screen basically. Uh, apart from that, we know that there's going to be probably a small refresh of the Surface Pro tablets and the Surface Book. But on Surface Pro and Surface Book, no new devices. Really, these will be just refresh um, devices. New devices will be um, in spring of 2017, apparently. And uh, talking about uh, Microsoft, well, Windows 10 Insider Previews, you might have noticed we didn't have one yet this week, and we know that we won't have one. Uh, Donna Sarkar yesterday had mentioned that there would not be any Insider Previews. They are in the process of upgrading their Insider team, so uh, pretty much everything is being kind of uh, revamped over there. So this week, no Insider Preview, uh, apparently it's going to come back next week. Well, um, the same day that there was the Apple event yesterday, we have Sony that had a uh, PlayStation event in which they showed us two new PlayStations. One is a PlayStation Slim, a slimmer version of the actual PlayStation that's available now, PlayStation 4. And a new PlayStation 4K that will be able to play 4K games. So that's going to be nice. But one of the bad I'd say the negative sides of this is it can play 4K games, but it won't come with a 4K Blu-ray player. So that's kind of a downer, you know. If you can play 4K games, why not include a 4K uh, DVD player or Blu-ray player? But at least it's a step ahead and, uh, of course, devices launched. As uh, the PlayStation is still, right now, the most popular console uh, for gaming. Well, Raspberry Pi debuted four years ago and uh, they kind of reached a milestone this week by shipping 10 million devices. Yep, 10 million Raspberry Pis were shipped in the last four years. So that really, really is making this very small uh, computer a uh, attractive little design. It's not expensive, and uh, it's pretty surprising all that you can do with it. So, uh, and um, a lot of hobbyists and a lot of people that you know love technology do have a Raspberry Pi to play with. So, 10 million devices have been shipped for uh, the Raspberry Pi this week. And uh, well, the Department of Justice, the FBI, had been doing a investigation. Um, it was, you know, I reported in a news item uh, many months ago that um, over 28,000 FBI agents were uncovered in their personal data 
and you know all the personal information on them was uh, actually put on a website well it seems that uh, the FBI has arrested two young guys that act the website they're 22 and 24 years old and basically uh, they are part of a hacking group and it seems that they are the ones that were able to do this they are based in North Carolina in the United States and by um, actually mostly impersonating employees and trying to make everybody think that they were from the FBI uh, they were able to get access of all sorts of information so uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens but uh, this doesn't look very good for these two kids and finally um, in January of this year Chrome 56 will launch and it will have a new feature uh, Google has been pushing websites to use HTTPS all the time uh, HTTPS is secure HTTP it makes things encrypted so you are much more secure on the internet well starting in uh, at the end of January when you are running Chrome 56 any website that doesn't have HTTPS or secure HTTP when you have to log on to the website with for example a username and a password it will be stated that is is non-secure on the website itself so uh, this is going to be interesting to see and it's of course in the push from Google to have everything um, secured on the internet if possible. So this was the Tech News Update for Thursday, September 8, 2016. You enjoy our videos? Why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and hope you enjoy our videos.